video we are going to prove the linear convergence of the fixed point iteration method from numerical analysis. So this would be assumed that g is continuously differentiable, that g of r is equal to r, and that s is equal to the absolute value of g prime of r being less than 1. Then the fixed point iteration converges linearly with rate s to the fixed point r for initial guesses sufficiently close to r. And so we are going to prove this. So it's going to be the proof. And we first need to let x sub i denote the iterative at step i. By doing this, we then know that the next the next iterative or the next step is going to be x sub i plus 1 being equal to g of x sub i based upon that fixed point iteration. Um, from this though since g of r is equal to r, which we know from our initial portion of this theorem, we have that x of i plus 1 minus r is equal to g of x sub i minus g of r. This is just by subtracting here. Since we already have an equality statement that we're using in the subtraction. And from that, by the mean value theorem, so by the mean value theorem, a number c sub i between x sub i and r satisfies uh, based upon this previous relationship up here, so x sub i plus 1 minus r is equal to g of x sub i minus g of r is equal to g prime of c sub i times x sub i minus r. And now we can let e sub i, which is typically our error term, is equal to the absolute value of x sub i minus r. And we could use that in this previous statement um, by substituting. So we have now that e sub i is going to equal to the absolute value of g prime of c sub i times e sub i. And this would be that the um, this is e sub i plus 1 in this case. 
So based upon this now, if we let s be equal to the absolute value of g prime of r, and that being less than 1, this being by the continuity continuity of g prime so of the derivative then there is a small neighborhood neighborhood. There is a small neighborhood around R for which for which and let me just move this a bit down for more room for which the absolute value of g prime of x is less than s plus 1 over 2. And that's still being less than 1. And this value is going to be slightly larger than s, but it's still going to be less than 1. Um, now, if x sub i lies in this interval, or in the neighborhood, I should say, in the neighborhood, if it lies in the neighborhood, then so does c sub i. So, then so does c sub i. So we would have, and let me just fix this, w, so we would have then that e sub i plus 1 is going to be less than or equal to s plus 1 over 2 times e sub i. And now based on that, thus the limit as x approaches infinity of x sub i is going to be equal to r. And also, also, the limit as i approaches infinity, and actually this is supposed to be an i here, not an x. This limit as i approaches infinity of x sub i is supposed to equal to r. Also, the limit as i approaches infinity of e sub i plus 1 divided by e sub i, this ratio is going to equal to the limit, again, as i approaches infinity of the absolute value of g prime of c sub i. That would simply equal to the absolute value of g prime of r. And that is just equal to our value of s. And that will show then that from this theorem that that fixed point iteration converges linearly with rate s to the fixed point r for an initial guess sufficiently close to r. 
and that would end our proof. Thank you.